This is the story of how an Englishman became a Moroccan and it all began in Qatar when I went out there to support England and try to attend all the matches of the World Cup. But this beautiful story I returned with I never thought would happen. It all began when I attended Morocco versus Croatia where they belted out the national anthem. They sang it so loud I realized how much this really meant to the fans. I shared it online and my content was blowing up. The love I was receiving in the comments was insane. People told me to stand with them for the next game so I did against Canada. They won the game to qualify for the final 16. They passed Partied, I learned the chance. It was a special experience. Five days later, last 16, they're playing Spain. This time I thought, surely they're not going to win. And after 120 minutes, it was still nil-nil. Penalties time, and it all came down to Hakimi. <laughs> The emotion on display almost made me cry. Still to this day, I think that's one of the best videos on my channel. The Moroccans just loved it. The next step, Ronaldo's Portugal. They've just put six past Switzerland. Not a chance. That's what I thought until Ennisiri leapt like a salmon to give them the lead and held it on all the way. <laughs> My video, over 1 million views for that game. People were translating into Arabic, reposting on TikTok, Instagram. I went everywhere. And now it was semi-finals time. France, World Cup winners, rank number one, reality struck, a tuna loss with wasted chances. But even through a loss, their fans were coming up to me, saying thank you, explaining how I'm one of them, offering me gifts, everything. So during the third place playoff, I recorded a video saying my wish for 2023 is to visit Morocco. Morocco fans, I will see you when I travel to your country. And now that the FIFA Club World Cup tournament is in that country, I can't waste this opportunity. It's finally happening. 1st of February, it's past midnight, I can't sleep. I've got my Morocco scarf on. Tomorrow, I'm traveling back to the country I fell in love with at the World Cup. <laughs> made it to the hotel. We're here in Morocco and take a look at this view. Welcome to Tangier. Wow. That is just spectacular, isn't it? I am so glad to be in Tangier. I'm going to meet so many fans. We've got about three hours till kickoff and we're about to make our way towards the Stade de Tange. The scarf. You guys know from the World Cup content how iconic this is. Wow. This place is beautiful. Pretty cool here, huh? There are Morocco flags everywhere in this country. <laughs> The local confectionery before the match. Got to get the nuts in. Can't go to a game without the nuts. First time at the stadium. I believe they've done some refurbishments to it just to make it look perfect for the Club World Cup. Currently trying to work out how to get to our gate around the stadium. It is hectic. This is carnage. First game in Morocco is absolutely mental. I think everyone's going. It's so packed around the stadium. Oh no, there's no one on the bus. People thought it was the team bus. <laughs> Legend, I think uh, it's gonna be early. Okay, Since okay. All the Arabs. Alali, yeah? What do you think? Yeah, all day, all day. The stadium is right there. The sun is setting. Look, I've got a fan here, he doesn't speak English. Sue! Sue! He knew the channel, but he doesn't speak English. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Look, Auckland oh, City, Al Ali. How do you say let's go? Like Ali. Yalla. Yalla, yalla. I knew that. Who's the biggest team in Morocco? We, we don't guys have Yeah? yeah. Do I have to support the, them? The best team in Morocco. Best team. I'm okay. always supporting Morocco, always. I'm going to see myself in the vlog. Of course, bro. <laughs> Let me explain the Club World Cup, because it's an afterthought for most of us Europeans. It's an annual tournament featuring the six winners from each continent across the globe. Over the last decade, there's no surprises that European teams have dominated. The last time there was an upset was 2012 when Corinthians beat Chelsea. Today, the champion of Oceania will play the host club in the first round. I know what you're thinking. Why is the host club Egyptian and not Moroccan? Well, Wydad Casablanca is both the champion of Morocco and Africa. So the role of host has passed on to the Egyptian club Al Ali, who lost to them in the African Champions League final. And today, the Oceania champions is the New Zealand side, Auckland City. And it's so funny to compare their Instagram followers. Auckland City, 16k. Al Ali, 9.2 million. Every stage you win, the games get harder. And if you make it to the semi-finals, you could play Real Madrid. Dude, I'm a big fan. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a really big fan. Legend. I, 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 like, I followed all the World Cup. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. This is a great day for me. Even the security guards are recognizing me now. This is amazing. Wow, it's all dark. Let's have a look. Oh my God. This is insane. Welcome to the Club World Cup in Morocco. Every match at the World Cup that Morocco used to win, they would sing this song passionately. Never underestimate football in Morocco. This is unbelievable. The football legend that sadly passed away 
just at the end of 2022. First FIFA tournament since that happened. I pay respects and that is great to see. Wow. This is insane. Welcome to the Club World Cup. Now it's time for the match as they unveil the green. Al Ali. Auckland City. I wonder if there is one Auckland City fan in the stadium right now. I bet you there's not more than 10. The Egyptian side in red and the Kiwis in navy blue. Very exciting to be here. Let's see what happens. Ultras have a little section behind the goal there. This side has come across the globe and it might all be done in 90 minutes. All the songs I heard at the, at the World Cup they're playing now, <laughs> and it's all Moroccans in the stadium. There aren't many Egyptians. It's all locals from Tangier. You can feel that. All I'm hearing is like flashbacks to their, their chance at the World Cup. Auckland City, the underdogs. Oh no! If I see a Kiwi side win today, I am going. I'm going to do something. I'll do a dare. Oh Ali, surely this is it. No, it's still nil nil. The Auckland City boys are holding it. When the cameras are on you, you've got to turn up. The Moroccan flags in the lower section there, loving it. Look at those Al Ali fans. That is insane. This guy's got a strike on him. Have you ever seen that meme of the guy who just keeps celebrating? That is that guy for Al Ali. Look, he's still going. He's still going. And that's half time. 1 0 Al Ali. Because it's half time, we're going to set a like target. If we get 10,000 likes, I will go to the big one. We dad Casablanca against Al Hilal. Right now, the tickets, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. But I will make sure I go to that match if we get 10,000 likes. And we're back on the way for the second half. Come on, Auckland City, come back time. And it's too easy. Al Ali 2 0. And their fans absolutely love it. The flares are out. The trip to Morocco has been a successful one so far. And they're going to enjoy it. Disappointing time for Auckland City. Big underdogs. You travel across the world. It wasn't to be. 58th minute, Mohamed Sheriff makes it 2-0. Flamengo can give Real Madrid a shot. I think. I, I would think love that. Can. Their fans are fired up. You can see that they're all tuning in. And they put in a squad that has quality in every position. Yeah. And you think in these hypotheticals how they would vote in the Champions League. I think if they play Champions League, they could get out of a group. Yeah. And they could compete in your in Europa League surely. Sure yeah, for sure. I, I think they do get a lot of money. People forget that about the Brazilian league. For these teams, I think this is everything. Ten thousand likes and we will go to the Al Halal We Dad match. Balls in your court. Hugo Lloris putting in a shift. <laughs> that is insane. Only one way to end the night here in Morocco with some mint tea. Shukran. That is so good. Yeah. That is solid. The atmosphere inside the stadium was mad. There were so many fans. Obviously, it died down a little bit as the game went on, especially when the guy did the sue for the celebration. You can't top moments like that. I'm going to be enjoying Tongier and then go over to Rabat, but please subscribe for this Morocco tour. You guys are joining us. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.